Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net, and in this video, I'm gonna help you use the proper continental grip on your serve. If you're someone who's used to using a forehand grip, and you realize you've gotta to get to a continental in order to get your serve to the next level, then this video is absolutely for you. So let's first check out what the continental grip is. Now, in order to understand the continental grip, you need to know about the hand and the grip itself. First, the hand. We've got the base knuckle of our index finger and the heel pad. Those two spots are gonna go on panel number two. So you put the base knuckle and the heel pad on panel two. Now, panel two runs the entire length of the grip. So I'll draw that here. You've got this edge and this edge. So that is panel number two right here. So base knuckle of the index finger and the heel pad go on panel two. Now, if you are a lefty, your panel two is here and it runs again all the way up the grip. But that is panel number two, the continental grip in order to hit amazing serves. So now that you know what the continental grip is, now let's adjust your feet. Players who don't use a continental grip tend to face very forward toward the target. And the reason is because with a forehand grip, you actually want your racket tracking out toward your target, which we're gonna talk about in a second. You actually don't wanna do that with a continental. So what you'll find with players who use a forehand grip is they have their toes usually facing very forward when they serve. Instead of doing that, have your body more to the side. Really try to be side on to your target rather than facing your target. So be sideways to your target. Now I'm not a big fan of having the back foot way behind where you can see through my feet. I'm not a big fan of that. Typically it means you get a false sense of coiling and it's actually pretty hard to coil because a coil is your upper body turning more than the lower body. And with your lower body this far, you've got to really almost be like John McEnroe in order to get any type of coiling from this. So what I like to have is the back foot slightly behind the front foot, but be side on to your target. The next thing I want you to do is when you begin, adjust the beginning position of your racket. You see a lot of players, you know, they've got the, the forehand grip and they're used to bouncing the ball with their racket. If they're a beginner, and, and really all players do this at the beginning, or almost all players I've seen, is they bounce the ball with their racket to serve. It promotes the strings pointing down. The forehand grip protect, uh, promotes the strings facing the ground. Then what happens is you ask them to go to a continental and they keep the racket in the same place. When really what you wanna think of in order to change your grip is to turn the racket. It's a different racket position rather than a different hand position that you wanna think of for the continental. So we're gonna be more sideways and we're gonna keep our hand kind of the way it always is, but we're gonna rotate the racket, then grab on. Now we've actually got a continental grip that's gonna allow us to hit better serves. And the last thing I wanna show you is the path that you want the racket to take when you're swinging. See, when you use a forehand grip, we swing toward our target. So our racket tracks out toward the target like this. We end up having our racket chase the ball. That produces a very flat hit. If you're this type of person who hits really fast first serves and then have to go like this for your second serve, there's a reason why. It's because you're putting the wrong spin on the ball. You're putting backspin on the ball and backspin makes the ball rise, a forehand grip produces backspin, and that makes the ball rise. You might re recognize this. You might feel like when you hit really fast serves, you've got to hit like a half an inch over the net, otherwise the ball goes out. That's really not the feeling that the proper serve gives you. When you hit with side spin, which is what we're gonna talk about in a second, that ball will actually go quite high over the net and the ball can still go in even at faster speeds. So what we have to think of is swing, since I'm right-handed, swing to the right of the target. Because if you use a continental grip, but you face forward and you swing towards your target, the ball goes way to the left if you're right-handed. So what you have to do is be sideways, but then swing off to the right of your target. And when you swing off to the right of the target, the ball actually goes toward the box. So I've got my continental grip. I'm gonna be sideways more than typical. I'm gonna start with my racket face open slightly instead of pointing down, which 
just promotes a forehand grip. I'm gonna have my racket slightly open. Notice my hand position is not changing. The only thing that's changing is the racket. And then I'm gonna swing off to the right. So I'm actually gonna to try to hit the fence over there. So I'm gonna to try to actually look that way and swing that way. And then the ball actually goes in the box. Watch this one in slow motion and watch how I'm not swinging toward the box, but I'm actually swinging off to the fence. My ball goes where my strings point, but since my racket is traveling off to the right, I get the side spin that gives me massive control. So work on the continental grip. Get your knuckle and heel pad on panel number two. Stand more sideways towards your target than you're used to and start with a racket face that is open. And when you swing, don't swing towards your target, but if you're right-handed, swing off to the right of your target to get that side spin you're looking for. You work on these ideas and there's no doubt you're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.